I tell you the hardest thing in chickens to me is once you get your line figured out, you've had them say 10, 15 years, or even if you've had them uh, five years, whatever, mm-hmm. and your customers change. Oh, let me give you an instance. We sell primarily to uh, Americans, mm-hmm. uh, Mexican people, Filipino people. All right. As of just maybe two, three years ago, we started selling to more to Vietnamese mm-hmm. people. Okay. They want, say our mugs are 5'8". Mm-hmm. They want a 6'8 rooster. They want a pound difference. You just can't go from a 5'8 to a 6'8". You can do it and just have a big junkie rooster. Right. But you can't do that and have a good rooster that competes well. Mm-hmm. So how do you do that? How, how do you do that? Just maybe breed them earlier. They may come four or five ounces bigger, maybe six ounces bigger. They're bred earlier. Mm-hmm. But a whole pound? So what right. you have to do is what guys tend to do is they'll take out of 10 stags, they'll look at one stag that's taller or one pullet that's taller than the sisters. And they'll say, well, that'll help me there. I'll breed to this tall pullet. Mm-hmm. But what they don't realize is that pullet is a freak. If she's the only sister that's long-legged, she's a freak. And freaks usually don't breed freaks. They don't, they don't throw that. She'll throw medium station, just like her sisters, 99% of the time. And so they have a whole yard. So what happened? I thought they'd come bigger. No, because you bred something that was recessive and then she didn't pass it on. So what you need to do is you have to go gradually bigger and bigger, but not lose her skill set. And I'm telling you, it will keep you up at night, racking your head, trying to. Not easy. Right, right. So that that's that's you know what that that is, a, and that's actually the next topic now that we can move to because again, you've been having these mugs since early 2000s. Here we are in 2020. You pretty much been breeding the same thing for the last what seven, 17 years, I guess that will be. The mugs is 17 years, 18 years, um, and mm-hmm. I know within that time period you know, customer needs change, the environment change, customer needs change. So let's talk a little bit about, you know, um, the things that you do, because you're, you're serving three different markets and stuff like that. So, so in serving that many markets, right, pretty much a lot of us, a couple of those markets went to kind of the same similar foul. Um, how do you make those adjustments throughout the time without losing exact, or put it this way, Simpler question. 